Hey guys, I wanted to do a short video on the upcoming court date for Teresa Martin versus CPO Hospitality LLC, Crown Plaza, Chicago O'Hare, and FNF Realty FTD. We know that she has a court date on December the 13th in this case, and she is being represented by and through Larry Rogers in this matter and I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what to expect and what not to expect so that you're informed um, we know that this is the court case um, and I did a video on this before so if you need to go back and reference it that's fine okay we know that by and through her attorney, Teresa Martin, and we know that Teresa Martin is the one that initiated this filing because it says participant, Teresa Martin. By and through her attorney, they filed a motion to do something. And we know that because it says it right here. And we also know that they filed it on the 13th of October. Now, Judge Meyerson denied whatever motion that was. And that motion could have been a multitude of different things. Um, a motion before the court is asking the court to do something or hear something or see something. Or to request something. Um, it could be re to request the other parties to do something. Now, uh, it could be that they're requesting to allow something to happen. Um, and it could be that it's not wrote on here. Because a lot of times the titling on the paperwork for these motions that are filed um, are quite lengthy. And it would be drawn up on a standard, you know, in a Word document. It wouldn't be a, a filing from the court, like a pre-prepared court form. And it would be styled just like this case is styled. And in the middle of the paper, it would say, motion to do whatever. And a lot of times that could be, you know, and I've seen them anywhere from one line to ten lines. It could be very lengthy, so... I didn't think it was fishy when it was not included um, right here. Now, the judge denied that request, whatever that request was. And also, um, just wanted to let you know that a motion can be made verbally or it can be made, you know, written. It can be a written motion. So, anywho, so once the judge denied that motion... Teresa Martin, by and through her attorney, filed another motion. And it was continued on the 18th. Oh, I'm sorry. The 18th of October. And we know that from that. And we also know that Teresa Martin filed it. Now, the judge... I guess continued it. I don't know. I don't know if the judge continued it or if Miss Martin wanted it continued or if CPO or Crown Plaza or FNF wanted it continued, but it was allowed to be continued. And we know that from this right here. The continuance of that motion was allowed and it's going to be heard on December the 13th. Now, it's going to be heard at 10:15 local time there and I just wanted to kind of let you all know what to expect now I also want wanted to note that it was a request I assume for all parties to produce something or for all parties to do something uh, not necessarily produce something because it is on all of theirs it is on the Crown Plaza, it was continued. FNF Realty, it was continued. 
and Teresa Martin it was continued and CPO hospitality it was continued um, now so all parties were asked to do something or produce something or whatever what have you now also wanted to let you all know that um, even though she does have a court case set for the 13th at 10 15 with the chancery court it would not be unusual for her not to appear so she's being represented by larry rogers and that is what she's paying him for that is to act on her behalf and to represent her so she could very well show up you know i wouldn't think that was strange either either way it goes it's not going to be odd but she does not have to show up. This is not a criminal case in any way. And if it was a civil case or a chancery case or what have you, she does not have to show up for that court date. So don't be uh, alarmed if she does not. So um, please don't make videos saying that, oh, she didn't show up for court. There was no court case. This is all funny business because it wouldn't be funny. Um, it would be the norm. And, um, that is pretty much all I have. Now, what she will, the judge will do on the 13th is decide on this motion or she very well may continue it again. Um, she could continue it several times. She can continue it as many times as she wants to. But once she has, um, heard this motion she will make a ruling on it and that's how that will go and the, the case will proceed based upon her ruling so i just wanted to let you all know what to expect on the 13th you know don't have high expectations that something big is going to happen in this case because chances are it is not it's pretty much still in the early phases and we don't even know what this court case is. Now, I also wanted to let you know that what I would do if I was in Cook County, and I'll tell you, um, I'm in Kentucky, and I know how it works here. If there's a court case that I'm checking out or researching, and I see that it's popped up on the docket for hearing or motion or what have you, I could go sit in that courtroom and listen to that case. Uh, without any problems. Now, the only way that I couldn't is if the courtroom was closed or um, if there was no room. There may not be any room in the courtroom, in the courthouse, for all these people uh, on the docket that particular day. And in our county, they will tend to set people outside, and we have several rows of benches where people can sit outside until their case time is heard. And that's not abnormal either. But I would at least try if I was there, is all I'm saying. Uh, when I was in school in my criminal justice classes, um, we had several classes on criminal law, and we were encouraged, we weren't required, but we were encouraged to go to the courtroom and just kind of sit in and observe. And we did that on several occasions and on our own time. And I was never asked any questions as to why I was there. Nothing. So you will see that a lot too. Um, you'll see people sitting in the back of the courtroom with a notebook. And you'll think maybe why are they sitting there? And that chances are they're just observing. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I wouldn't see a problem with someone sitting in there now. If there were 200 people that showed up, yeah, they're, they're not going to allow you to come in there. But you can most definitely stand outside. Um, I don't see you having a problem with that. But, anywho, I just kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop on what to expect and what not to expect. So that no one gets disappointed or um, starts putting out a whole different set of rumors about this or that. I deal with facts and... Well, I try very hard to, so I know that this is a fact, and I have no problem with putting a video out talking about that. So, anywho, 
I hope that you guys found this video informative and I will catch you next time. See ya.